uh, just before lunch. I had said in all the, the, the speaker and the deputies should step down. And they are members of the Barisan National and they ought not to be uh, in the chair. In fact, there is provision in the law, Article 57, one of the uh, constitution states that uh, uh, either a member of parliament or any other person qualified to be a speaker can be elected speaker. And there have been cases where uh, uh, Zahe and uh, the late uh, Said Nase were not elected but appointed as uh, speakers for the reason that otherwise you will be biased because they are members of the Barisan National. In fact, I said they, they, they ought to be taking care of their constituencies by speaking in parliament, not sitting in the chair. So, uh, I think uh, what Kula has brought up is something very uh, significant. Even if there is no provision as such in the uh, standing orders, I think uh, when it comes to situations like this, uh, something ought to be done. I have the standing orders ought to be amended, but uh, I think uh, there is a necessity for something to be done. Before, before Zahir passed away, Zahir was non, not elected. After that, no, no, Ramli, he was not elected. Yeah. In fact, all when the Ramli time. came in, Ramli was elected. Ah, Ramli was elected. That's what we say. Uh, of course, there is provision for election or appointment of uh, any other person other than a uh, no member. So our, our argument is, it should be in fact for both. Uh, the speaker and the deputy speakers. Unfortunately, uh, Article 57, uh, I think, bracket 2 of the Constitution says that uh, deputy speakers have to be uh, members of the House, uh, not a speaker. In fact, the Constitution should be amended. For the fact that uh, the both the speaker and the deputy speakers should not be members of the uh, Barisa National and as such, uh, the chair is the speaker and deputy speakers. In this case, let's say if not teaching is the one who chair the meeting and then the, the three are all elected, so you won't have anybody to chair. Yeah. They have the sending orders in temporary chairman. No, there's yeah. seven three. Seven three. Seven, seven three. Okay. There's sending order. Yeah, of the sending order for provision to appoint any person of the member of the parliament as the temporary speaker. Okay, any MP. Any MP. Yeah. Uh, as temporary speaker. Yeah. In the absence of the speaker or the Timbala. Are you are you suggesting that uh, it should be done this way for this? No, because bill? you see the, the, the bill is about the yes. salary of the speakers. Yes. And the Timbala speakers. So you need somebody not biased. That's why I move the motion. That's a matter of this natural justice. So, uh, the decision of you to come out is you abide by the chair's ruling? No, we, we had a meeting and felt that uh, I've been asked to get lost from the house, so I get out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, actually, the, 